Hello, I'm Daniel, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, we'll be covering how to monitor task CloudWatch metrics, which you can check by using the AWS CLI, API, or AWS DMS console. For this video, we'll be using the AWS DMS console. Let's get started. As you can see, I've already logged into the AWS Management Console. Next, navigate to the AWS DMS Console. Choose Tasks from the Navigation pane. Select your running task. Open the Task Monitoring tab. Check the metrics to see what the task is doing. This usually shows full load and replication task metrics. For instance, CDC latency source and CDC latency target shows the latency on replication tasks. CDC latency source and CDC latency target and full load throughput bandwidth target values show incoming from source and outgoing to target network bandwidth during full load. Full load throughput bandwidth target values show network bandwidth during full load. Here are details on each of the metrics. Full load throughput bandwidth source, incoming network bandwidth from a full load from the source in kilobytes per second. Full load throughput bandwidth target, outgoing network bandwidth from a full load for the target in kilobytes per second. Full load throughput rows source, incoming changes from a full load from the source in rows per second. Full load throughput rows target, outgoing changes from a full load for the target in rows per second. CDC incoming changes, the total number of change events at a point in time that are waiting to be applied to the target. Note that this is not the same as a measure of the transaction change rate of the source endpoint. A large number for this metric usually indicates AWS DMS is unable to apply captured changes in a timely manner, which causes high target latency. CDC changes memory source. Amount of rows accumulating in a memory and waiting to be committed from the source. CDC changes memory target amount of rows accumulating in the memory and waiting to be committed to the target. CDC changes disk source. Amount of rows accumulating on disk and waiting to be committed from the source. CDC changes disk target. Amount of rows accumulating on disk and waiting to be committed to the target. CDC throughput bandwidth source. Network bandwidth for the target in kilobytes per second. CDC throughput bandwidth records bandwidth on sampling points. If no network traffic is found, the value is zero. Because CDC does not issue long-running transactions, network traffic may not be recorded. CDC throughput bandwidth target. Network bandwidth for the target in kilobytes per second. CDC throughput bandwidth records bandwidth on sampling points. If no network traffic is found, the value is zero. Because CDC does not issue wrong running transactions, network traffic may not be recorded. CDC throughput rows source. Incoming task changes from the source in rows per second. CDC throughput rows target. Outgoing task changes for the target in rows per second. CDC latency source. The gap in seconds between the last event captured from the source endpoint and current system timestamp of the AWS DMS instance. If no changes have been captured from the source due to the task scoping, AWS DMS sets this value to zero. CDC latency target. 
the gap in seconds between the first event timestamp waiting to commit on the target and the current timestamp of the AWS DMS instance. This value occurs if there are transactions that are not handled by target. Otherwise, target latency is the same as source latency if all transactions are applied. Target latency should never be smaller than the source latency. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.